take two. <laughs> all right, all right, some knobhead may have actually had the camera set the time lapse, but that's why this all sounds rehearsed now. So we are on the uh, tail end of a 12 hour editing session, hence me being a freaking idiot. 12 and a half. 12 and a half, oh yeah, 12 and a half now. Uploading the video at the minute. Uh, it's all gone rather well, we're very happy with yeah, it, but yeah. I'm Jake, <laughs> I'm the producer. Yeah, but Sorry, yeah, good. 12 and a half hours just keep going. Um, <laughs> it's 6am by the way. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm George, I'm the, uh, the director. I'm John to the DIT and colorist. AKA computer specialist in all things technical. To make yes. sure everything is perfect. Yeah, which it was. It works. So, okay. so we started well, out. With the competition came up, we saw it like five days or a week after it got put up. So it was like three week to a month timeline to actually get stuff done. Yeah. We're fairly busy with other things. So realistically we had about two weeks to sit down and get this all sorted out. So listen to all the Trocadero songs while working on other stuff. Didn't, nothing stood out like immediately, but after a few days, like, you know, an idea sort of starts forming nearly always in the shower because that's just life. And then I kind of had to film it. I'm sending George messages in like half full capitals, just being like, George, idea, we have to shoot this. He messaged me immediately with the idea of uh, listen to this song, uh, which was a uh, shotgun. Um, I talked about we actually moved to say the song this time. Yeah, the song. <laughs> he wakes up hungover <laughs> and remembers the night before where he met a girl and basically he fell for her because she was the gaming equivalent of Tex. Yeah, she was a badass. Kind of repeatedly hands him his own ass. Destroyed him. Bar was Meltdown London, London's only esports game bar. Massive thanks to those guys for letting us film yeah. there. Couldn't have done it anywhere else. Fantastic bloody base venue. Yeah. Go down if you get the chance. Great night out. Lovely people can talk to anyone. So the video is going to be part proper real world film footage part mm. machinima and I none of us have ever done machinima before that was an interesting experience yeah it was good appreciate RVB <laughs> even more now oh. <laughs> yeah <laughs> especially the earlier yeah. seasons so without the theatre mode man yeah, I can't geez, imagine seriously. that so yeah just came up to him and said hey we've got this awesome idea we'd love to film it it's the only place I want to film it went and filmed in the hours then I opened so 12 to 5 Monday and Tuesday this week so the 15th yeah. and 16th I think yeah. yes Something so like just under just under ten hours. That was gaffing up all the windows because the place is mainly made of glass. Setting up all the lights, and we had uh, two, two one Ks, Ks, set of Ks. mini redhead, yep. uh, Kino Three flow. Lights. We Three had uh, diffusion uh, like um, uh, reflectors and, gels, and such. We had loads of gels, lips, uh, clips and such. Use, all the usual bollocks. Uh, um, stands, extension cables, <laughs> tape to tape down the extension cable, cables because it was health and safety. Um, out one of the windows of a Captain America poster that's 8 by 5 foot. Yeah, yeah, did we get a picture <laughs> yeah. of that? Uh, uh, I can't remember. Uh, uh, it might not. Might if, we, if we have, it'll be here. If not, uh, if not the then I look stupid. Basically, you, you, as soon as we got the location, you got the location, you messaged me saying about it, and then we knew it was on. And we yeah. had just under, I think it was about two weeks, I think, really? No, it was one from getting the location, we had the, a week to sort out script, capture, shot list, casting, Shooting uh, scripts, extras. Yeah. Yeah, everything. We got the cast, the two leads, um, Kurt and Ava, they are actually, uh, they're actors who we sourced from uh, casting websites. Sam uh, was, uh, was someone who li lived in the local area at the time uh, and everything, and he, he just seemed to fit the role perfectly, like, you know, visually and such, and he you know, had plenty of experience and everything. And, uh, and Kathleen, um, interestingly enough, she actually, she was a professional Counter-Strike player for five years yeah. in Germany with like a sponsored team playing at tournaments and events. So yeah, she and she still exactly. plays like regularly other other games. And I things. think she said mainly so GTA and Left 4 Dead nowadays. Yeah. But yeah. So yeah. she was just playing herself. Uh, <laughs> so she she nailed that. They were both yeah. fantastic to work with. Um, so really big thanks to them. Crew wise, uh, we had yeah. Hadir. He was the DP cinematographer yeah. for it. Did a great job. Um, uses uh, glide cam skills and uh, yeah, his, uh, uh, he was. Him. Fantastic on that. Shot on all on his uh, GH3 uh, uh, mm. camera and such. Uh, uh, 50 frames a second to get some lovely uh, kind of yeah. half, speed half speed slow motion. Speed. And we had uh, Chris, your roommate, who came in. You asked him, and within 12 seconds he had. Well, a job. we needed a lighting guy, so I found someone within 12 seconds by turning up. Saying, yeah. "Hi, Chris, are you bored next week?" It was Alistair. Oh, Alistair was my future roommate moving in Chris's place. That happens, but uh, yeah, we managed to get all the kit and picture here because there's a load of it and I know I've definitely got a picture of how much crap there was like in, the back, yeah, in the back of his dying room it is which if you <laughs> haven't heard of is it it's a, it's a car but it's a car built by a company that mainly makes washing machines I think or fridges the actual budget for the shoot overall we think has come to around 35 40 pounds obviously really? travel expenses Ooh. back from actors for a What's couple that, of nights that 50 50 dollars 55 dollars something like that, like that. Not, yeah, not yeah yeah uh, was it uh, uh, Eden 
Yeah, yeah, Eden, yeah, yeah. Uh, help us with catering. And yeah. Ben, Ben Robinson. Yeah, the yeah, okay. sole member of RT UK who uh, who could show up on a Monday. Yeah, basically <laughs> came down despite being the only person from the uh, community of the nuts yeah. coming down. Turned up as GF. Yeah, she's perfect. Nice, yeah. Um, so big thanks to him. Yeah. Big thanks to Jason. Jason yeah, who uh, RT UK and all the guys running that for letting us uh, advertise on there for extras and yeah, generally yeah. helping support the video mm-hmm. and. So the UK community in general, you know, that was that was it was nice yeah, to get the support in touch with that. Yeah. Thank you for thirteen awesome seasons of Red vs. Yeah. Blue. Well, no, I've well, been watching it since like secondary yeah. school. Thank you, Rooster Teeth, yeah, yeah, basically, basically. <laughs> for um, and, uh, inspiring this. Yeah, and I think um, that's breakfast. Yeah. We have some freaking awesome ideas which we're going to try and do over summer with basically TV formatting mm. and film style level of cinematography and stuff meets. Uh, gaming and stuff we like so yeah we follow us or like contact us if you maybe you have an like an idea or even just a suggestion heck we might follow up if it's yeah if it's, it's cool if get in touch with this is what we live for we're always <laughs> around and we're normally bored see you yeah. later